nation has always been a tool for colonizers to manipulate and control the population politically. Madam Erica A. Irene Dias formerly sat on the Decolonization Committee and was well aware of the importance of dissemination of information to freely inform the peoples of their rights so they can know the consequence of their decisions affecting those rights. In a former WGIP report on the topic of education, Madam Dias reported that the indigenous peoples of Alaska had yet to be formally informed of their right to decolonize. One of the most important lessons learned is that if indigenous peoples are not informed of their basic rights, then states, corporations, and colonizers will trample th those rights with impunity. History is very clear on this point. If there is no mechanism in place to implement the actual dissemination of information for indigenous peoples as recognized peoples to self-determination as colonized peoples, as actual nations, then states, again, are all too happy to continue to manipulate and denigrate the rights of indigenous peoples. This is very clear, it continues, and it goes on and on. Not only are the peoples vested with the right to know, to speak on the matter of the rights in their own languages, they were to be educated well enough to face the rigors of self-government, to defend their rights, including their political rights, their legal rights, and their right to land and territory, and their right to development. As I have always advocated, the right to self-determination is universal, but today we are witnessing an effort to qualify the right with limitations, whether indigenous peoples are peoples or not. Indigenous peoples are nations who have the right to sit with the family of nations without any limitation of our status to represent our peoples. It is clear that the universal application of the right to peoples has yet to be realized. There are indigenous peoples who have not given up this right and we will not cede our status. I will send you information uh, and, and write a paper on the salient decolonization resolutions that specifically identify the right of indigenous peoples, including their right to self-determination and to be informed in their languages. Thank you, Mr. Chair.